Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, we are going to find the real part of the analytic function where the imaginary part is given and we are going to construct the analytic function f of z. So let's take the imaginary part v which is e power minus x into 2xy cos y plus y square minus x square into sin y. Now we are going to find bx which is the partial derivative of this with respect to x and we are going to use the product rule. So first term derivative is e power minus x into minus 1 and the second term is fully kept as it is which is 2xy cos y plus y square minus x square into sin y then plus first term we keep as it is and second term derivative here we have 2xy cos y where the y terms are constants so 2x derivative is 2 and the constants are written as it is here again sin y is a constant and we have to differentiate this with respect to x but y is a constant so it is 0 we have only 2x and this constant to sin y is written as it is now vx of z comma 0 we have to find and in the first term since we have y here and y here when I put y as 0 the first term is fully 0 and in the second term again we have y here and sin y so even the second term is also fully 0 so vx is fully 0 now vy again we have to make a product rule but we are going to do partial derivative with respect to y so x term is a constant so we keep this constant as it is and we are going to differentiate these terms so here 2x is a constant so we keep it as it is and for this y cos y we have to use the product rule so y derivative is 1 and cos y is as it is plus y as it is and cos y derivative is minus sin y close the bracket again we have to use a product rule for this so first term derivative is 2y and y x square will not come into sin y plus sin and y square minus x square first term is kept as it is and sin y derivative is cos y so now straight away we are going to find v y of z comma 0 so this becomes e power minus z bracket open and 2z bracket open this becomes 1 and this becomes 0 because there is a y term here there is a y term so this is 0 and here this is 0 and uh, now we have plus minus z square into 1 so finally the term what we have is e power minus z into 2z minus z square this is our dy of z comma 0 now we take our f of z which is sorry f of z equal to u plus iv and f dash of z becomes ux plus ivx using cr equations ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx since we have only vx and vy this ux is replaced by vy so f dash of z becomes vy plus i v x and v y we can replace but before that using milne thompson method f of z is integral v y of z comma 0 
dz plus i integral dx of z comma 0 dz. So, first part is vy which is e power minus z into 2z minus z square e power minus z into 2z minus z square dz plus i integral and vx is fully 0. So, this part is 0. Now, we have only e power minus z into 2z minus z square dz this integral and we also have plus c. So, we have to continue this integration and here we have product of two function. So, we are going to use the integration by parts which is i late method. So, when I use i late method, we identify one is exponential, other is algebraic. So, the first term is u which is 2z minus z square and second term is dv which is e power minus z dz. This derivative du is 2 minus 2z into dz and here v is e power minus z by minus 1 and coming to this formula uv minus integral v du. So, u is 2z minus z square v is e power minus z by minus 1 we can keep the minus here minus integral e power minus z by minus 1 and we can make this as plus because divided by minus 1 we can make this as plus into du which is 2 minus 2z dz. Once again here we have a product of two functions. So, in the same way we will take u as algebraic because the order of i rate which comes first dv is e power minus z dz. So, du is minus 2 dz. This integration is e power minus z by minus 1 and now f of z the first term we can carry this minus inside. So, this becomes z square minus 2z into e power minus z plus here we have to use the formula uv minus integral v du that is integration by parts. Now, we are going to substitute. So, f of z equal to z square minus 2z e power minus z plus uv. So, 2 minus 2z into e power minus z by minus 1. We can keep the minus here. Minus integral and e power minus z we can make this as plus because already there is a minus sign and du is minus 2 dz. Now, finally, the last part we have to integrate. Before that, let us write all the other terms as this f of z becomes z square minus 2z into e power minus z and we can carry this minus sign inside. So, this becomes 2z minus 2 e power minus z and this integration becomes minus 2 is as it is e power minus z only and we have plus c. But when I integrate e power minus z minus e power minus z by minus 1. So, we can make this as plus. So, finally it is possible to take e power minus z common. So, z square minus 2z and here plus 2z minus 2 and the last term is plus 2 and plus c f of z and here minus 2z plus 2z we can cancel 2 1 minus 2 we can cancel. Then f of z equal to e power minus z into z square plus c. So, we got the analytic function f of z. 
Now, as per the question, we should also find the real part. So, for finding the real part, we are going to take f of z as u plus iv which is equal to e power minus z is x plus iy and even here it is x plus iy whole square. So, we are going to split the first part as e power minus x one term and into e power minus i y or it is better we take it as e power i into minus y because i want the e power i theta form this expansion is x square plus 2 a b terms 2 x i y plus i square y square now once again this is e power minus x and e power i theta e power i theta by formula cos theta plus i sin theta so cos of minus y plus i sin of minus y into x square this is i square y square i square is minus 1 so minus y square plus i into we can write the remaining terms 2xy now further rearranging e power minus x into cos of minus y is cos y sin of minus y is minus sin y so minus i sin y and along with this we have the product of x square minus y square plus i into 2xy now this side we have u plus iv so we need only the real part so i take the real part alone on both the sides so u becomes so here e power minus x we keep as it is when we multiply this entire term with this entire term we should take only the part without i so cos y into this so cos y into x square minus y square will be without i and again these two terms that is we multiplied this and now we have to multiply these two i square is minus 1 already there is a minus so plus sin y into 2xy and for the every term e power minus x is common so we take like this so thus we got the real part. So we take u as e power minus x bracket open. Usually we write algebraic term in the beginning. So x square minus y square into cos y plus 2xy into sin y. Thus we got the real part.